are doing free code camp JavaScript algos and data structures. We are doing basic JavaScript on challenge 72 of 113. And we are going to introduce else if statements, so the other half of if else's. All right, so when you have multiple conditions that need to be addressed, you can chain if statements together with an else if statement. Okay, so in this example, we say if number is greater than 15, return bigger than 15. If this condition is not met, it'll turn to the else if, which is another if check essentially. And it'll say if num is less than, yeah, less than five, return smaller than five. And then finally, if neither of these conditions are met, it has to be between five and 15. So we say else between five and 15. So that's all we're gonna do in this example here is convert this uh, function to use the same logic rather than if checks, rather than multiple if checks here. So, uh, can, yeah, convert el uh, the logic to use else if statements. So we have a function, we take in a value, we say if the value is greater than 10, return greater than 10. If this condition is not true, we're gonna turn to an else if rather than this an if. We're gonna say else if value is less than five, return smaller than five. And then if neither of these conditions are met, we're gonna end it with a else statement saying else return between five and 10. Okay, so that's all we had to do for that one. Let's run it and that's it. So really all we're doing here is giving it another if statement just with an else if. Um, I believe this is best practice rather than just having multiple ifs lined up. You can use if for the first one, else if for any other conditions, and then the final condition that if none of the other conditions are met, it will simply execute, and that's an else. Yeah, hope this helped. See you guys in the next video.